All right, thanks, Meredith. Yes, we do have Band by the River happening tomorrow. These guys will actually be playing next Friday, August 5th. And we're going to talk about their upcoming performances. Joining me now, we have Peter Fontenay's, we have Bess Swearingen, we have Don Watson, and they comprise the Vail Valley Band. But they have been in the Valley a long, long time. Let's get a little bit of your history. How long have you been here and kind of a lot of the places you've played? I've been here 40 years. And I've played pretty much everywhere. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> same, same all the way across. Same. We've been here 40 years, and there's not a club in this valley we haven't brushed up against. Yeah. And I'm the baby because I've only been here for maybe about 27 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the baby of the group. <laughs> okay. And you guys have performed um, on your own and also in other bands and everything. Mm -hmm. But it's great that what, what brought the Ville Valley Band together? Gosh, good old Club Chelsea days. I would say Club Chelsea. Yeah, yes. Club Chelsea. I remember those days. Yeah. The Bridge Street Club Chelsea. I remember going into Club Chelsea when I had just moved into town and Don was playing there and I said, can I just sit in with you? Yeah. Yeah. And then like the rest is history. I remember you guys playing Norwegian Wood. Uh -huh. I remember that. That's the first time I ever really heard that song. And I just think of you guys every time I played it and it was so fun. To have that venue and we, we've seen you know we, we celebrated the life of rob powell and tony galicia and it's a testament to how music brings people together and how many connections are made from across the world from people that love your music and then they meet new friends at the venues yeah, but we play all over the world we've yeah. been in from australia budapest dubrovnik just recently stuff that, okay. that we go all over it's, it's, because we make the connections here in Bay. Yeah. It's a very international town. Yeah, we definitely do. But you still call the Bay home. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And you know, it's one thing that's really, really wonderful about living here in the Vale Valley is the, the musicians, the fraternity of musicians here. Mm -hmm. It's really like a family. Yeah. So. I've, I've heard it described not as a music scene, but as a music community. Yeah. And yeah. I think that's really true. And I know you guys really support each other and, and sit in with each other and, you know, oh, yeah. hey, we need someone to play guitar. Can you help us out? Or, yeah. you know, you'll play at the churches and you know, do things with your local community establishments or help out fundraisers. It's just really nice. Yeah. And, and what a great way to make your living in the Ville Valley. We are blessed. Doing what Indeed. you love. We, we were just talking about that this very, very, up. that yeah. very thing this morning. It's like we get to do what we love to do without Here. living in New York, without living yes. in LA, yeah. without exactly. living in Nashville. All right, well, we're going to learn about some of their upcoming performances. The first one is going to be the Move and Groove on August 4th. Tell us about this. Well, that's right here in Beaver Creek. It's right at the ice rink. They have it every Thursday. In fact, just a shameless plug, I'm going to be there tonight with another <laughs> one of my musical uh, groups called the Fabulous Femmes. So uh, it's from uh, 6 to 8. It's great. Don't miss it's it. It's really, really fun. There is um, Maria Berry and her crowd come out and they, uh, they teach some social dancing for those of you who feel like you have two left feet, but you don't really have two social left feet. You just, <laughs> yeah. you just, you know, you yeah. haven't learned yet. Can I get you out there? So you'll be playing next Thursday and then you got a busy week because then on Friday, that's the band by the river. And what do you think about this new venue that uh, Riverwalk put in just oh, a few years ago? It's beautiful. And it's, um, you know, as the audience looks at the band, the river's right behind us. And um, it's kind of a natural amphitheater shape. And uh, we really enjoyed doing that when particular support. When they first put that in, I was on the committee for that. Oh, wow. And uh, one of the comments I made was it really needs a band shell for the acoustics yeah. because the river was so loud, especially in the springtime. And they put it in, and now that there's that shell there, it makes a wonderful spot for them. Okay. Yeah, really yeah. Nice. they need someone in the know. <laughs> Help them they did, it. and they, they asked us. They did. Yeah. They were very anxious to make it right when they did it. So they, yeah. they did a good job. Okay, good. And then, um, of course, we can find you ongoing on Friday nights at the Tavern. At Is the Arabelle, right? yes. Yeah, and that's that's been a fun place to, you know, maybe go see Phil Long, then go see you guys. You know, it's just kind of a nice... I like hopping, you know, from where one band ends i just go to the next yeah you can just walk right across the uh the, the alleyway there and there we are and it is a, a beautiful setting it's a beautiful patio that's just right overlooking uh, and you know mountain. if you come to see us depends on what venue we're at as far as what kind of show we're doing okay what we do at the route six with the dancing and stuff is very different from what we do at the arabelle and what we do at the, yeah. the skating rink and stuff it's always a show our band always morphs into whatever the audience wants to. Okay, perfect. Never the same show never the same twice. Class. 
And then we're going to be moving things down to Leadville. Uh, they've got some exciting things going on with the Tabor Opera House. Oh, I'm yes. so glad that that awards and those grants and it's furthest. It has so and you guys are going to be a part of it. We've got something going on on Labor Day weekend. On Saturday, September 3rd, uh, the Bell Valley Band will be doing a big benefit concert um, in benefit of the Tabor Opera House and all the work that they're doing there. And um, we were, we're really have, flattered they asked us to do that. Yeah. We're going to have a, a wonderful cowboy poet with us, Jake, Jake Riley. And um, I think Doors at 6.30, Jake at 7, Bell Valley Band at 7.45. Okay. And uh, we'll be doing some of our original um, songs as well as some crowd favorites, our interpretation of, of those favorites. Okay. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> if you're there, we'll do the region work. Yes. Okay, totally. Yeah, see, they remember your request. They're that personalized. And that's what I love about you guys. You're just, you, you really connect with the audience. And you're, you're such a uh, fortunate valley to have your talents here. All right. Well, anything else you'd like to add? I guess, well, your website. Yes. Oh, yeah. TheValeValleyBand.com. That's all the spot. Case, all one word. The. Don't the. forget the. Yeah. <laughs> Put the the in there. All right. Um, can you leave us with any tunes? Any, any, even if you hum. I, I'm not going to. Um, yeah. I, I'm um, not going to say. We don't hum. Um, it's a bit early. What, 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 what is, what is, what would we look at right and do now? just burst into? Yeah. There are stars in the southern sky. Southward as you go, there is moonlight and moss in the trees, down the seven bridges morning they're singing it for us it is the Vale belly band you can catch them band by the river next friday and then thursday they'll be doing move and groove and many more shows so check it out the valleyband.com meredith what do you think of that one well uh, my morning just got better leah's morning just got better we were hoping to hear you guys sing we are excited for your performance at the band by the river august 5th we were getting too excited. We thought you were tomorrow, but oh my gosh, congratulations and more singing in the morning, please. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Well, so exciting. So we, we love some live music and we're actually just about to wrap up the show. So we're going to give uh, Trisha a moment. We're just going to take a quick commercial break and then we'll wrap up the show.